Oh, okay. I'm struggling. Um, decided to get out of the house and make a video update. So, topic of today, since the last video, skin. I have noticed changes in my skin. I went from very hydrated skin. I'm trying to make sure because I'm filming in a different place. I went from hydrated skin to now it's like I can tell a difference. Like the texture of my skin. Now I slather it in oil and baby oil gel and different jojoba oils and all kind of stuff. But I might think that Dr. Vong needed to tweak his thing a little bit. If you watch Dr. Vong VSG videos, he always says, Big ass salad for lunch or dinner, green smoothie, and then dinner. What was it? Protein? I forgot. I wrote it all down. Anyway, well, I've noticed that I've had to incorporate more protein because my nutritionist was like, it's time for more protein. It's been six weeks. Get it together. But I've noticed and I'm like, well, that does help with hair, skin, and nails. Um, but yeah, it's just like my skin texture is totally changing and I can see it. And I'm trying my hardest to like... Like I said, keep it moisturized, and I've changed my shower routine. I've changed different soaps. I uh, actually got this cute little water bottle. I wonder if I can even grab it. Nope, I can't because then I'm totally opposite on camera. But I have this cute little water bottle with a little strap that you can put on you um, to carry around that I've seen people talk about. And it, it does help, even though I don't know what the issue is with the straw, but it helps me. I take more sips throughout the day with the straw than having to like chug the bottle a little bit. But yeah, is anybody else having issues with your skin after this? Like I'm not having hair issues just yet. It's just the skin. Like I feel the texture of it. And it's like, even though I'm slathering it with oil and I'm doing X, Y, Z, I still notice a difference in my skin texture will that ever get normal i don't know anybody went through it um yeah and then my eyeballs like under my eyeballs like i don't like that i don't know if that's from dramatic weight loss and then this little fat pockets or what i don't know um now i did start to lighten up a little bit because it was darker but i'm like what is this am i gonna have to get that little surgery where they take out the fat out of my eye pocket <laughs> Boy, weight loss is supposed to help you. Like, weight loss is supposed to help you. All it did was make you see, like, Lord, I need to change this. I need to do that. I need to change this. Like, I don't like this. Like, bleh. So, yeah. Um, but we're not doing anything else surgical, at least for the first year, to give me time to, like, acclimate to this, lose more weight, see, do I get to my goal? Now, they're saying my goal is 141. Now, even when I was in the military, I still didn't get to 141. Like, your girl was 148, 160. You know, I looked a little healthy. I think 141, I might look very sickly, and people might start asking questions. Uh, I don't think that would be a good weight look on me, 141. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to be my military weight of, like, 150-ish, maybe 160-ish. Um and go from there so yeah i'm like this is ridiculous because you started to notice everything like every thing that the fat covered up it is coming out you are definitely noticing like what is this it, where did this come from is that a stretch mark i've never seen that one yeah it comes out of nowhere so any tips um any anything that i can do because i'm kind of lost like i said i've been slathering the skin with aloe and oils and baby oil gel and i've been trying to drink more water uh i'm taking vitamins still oh i'm trying to get these grams of protein lord that is so hard who knew having weight loss surgery helps you but lord it is a struggle it is a struggle to try to get all of that protein and to get all of that water it just it's such a struggle. But anybody has any suggestions, I'm definitely open to see like, you know, did your skin change? How did you how did you combat that? I definitely cannot feel my side because I have ADD, I think. I'm not I haven't been diagnosed, but boy, I tell you, everything moving around me and I'm just like, oh, okay. Well, gotta go. About to head back home. See ya.